Hey, what's going on ladies and gents welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and let me just speak on something real quick a lot of people have been asking if Kaza is worth pulling well it's a really simple question do you have sucrose and is she c6 <laughs> if you do don't pull for kaza he does the same exact thing as a c6 sucrose. to read here real quick all party members gain a 20% elemental damage bonus uh, for the corresponding absorbed element. He does the same exact thing. Where where can we find his talents and stuff? There we go. Same thing. Uh, Same thing. There it is. 0.04% elemental damage bonus for the corresponding element. And it's it's for each point of elemental mastery you have. So, I mean, he pretty much does the same thing. Obviously, you're going to be like, well, I can just stack like a thousand elemental mastery. He's going to be better. Well, yes, you're right. But if you have C6 Sucrose, there is no reason for you to be pulling on the spanner. I, I just don't see why you would. In my opinion, Kaza is, for me, the, the most fun I've had with the character in a really long time. Let me tell you, I love my animal characters. I love Jean. I love Sucrose. I love the animal traveler, uh, even though I don't have her equipped right now. And where, where, where? I mean, this account, I don't really have much animal characters, but on my main account, I have Zhao animal. I have Jean animal. I have traveler animal. I have Venti animal. I have Sucrose animal. I built them all because I love animal. Animal is my, probably my favorite element in this game. It's just so fun with all the you know, elemental skills that you have, elemental burst, they all do the combat control or the crowd control rather. And, you know, just the mobility itself. That's why. And Kaza just adds to it. You know, he, he has his little jump thing. He has his ultimate that looks absolutely insane. And for me, he's worth pulling because he's fun. I can just show you guys the banner real quick. Why you would also pull on this banner if you're a new, like, person in this game, you haven't, like, played in a while. Or something like that. Bennett is incredible. Rosari is incredible. Razor is incredible. They're all really good. Razor has physical DPS. Um, and Bennett has the utility with the attack buff. With the health regen. With uh, Rosaria also uh, supporting with crit. Supporting with the ice. And like her elemental burst with ice. Whatever it is. She's really good. And not to like forget her constellations with shred or whatever. And Kaza is the crowd control. He's... He's just so fun, and he probably rekindled my love for animal characters, especially. It's just, he's way too fun. All in all, if you have a Sucrose, he's not worth for you to summon on. If you have Sucrose C6, he's just not. Because he does, it's the same exact thing, same exact performance. And to be honest, you don't really, you don't really need him if you have C6 Sucrose. That's pretty much it. And... The only reason I see you pulling on him if you have a C6 Sucrose is just for fun. Um, for me, this is my free-to-play account. I wanted Kaza like a really long time ago. I skipped Jungli and, I, you know, I just... Kaza, he's just way too fun. Especially on my account where, you know, I'm just using characters that I don't really use usually. Although I just got Bennett, so I'm going to probably level him up. Bennett is just way too good. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Is he worth pulling on? Yes, he's worth it. Only if you do not have Sucrose at C6. If you have Sucrose at C6, don't even think about it. He's not worth pulling at that point. You might as well save for the next Inazuma character, which is going to be coming out next patch. So, <laughs> yeah, guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.